this is uh, this tutorial will showcase the Power BI feature of Excel 2013, and uh, the data that I have chosen today is taken from Consumer Electronics Show, the famous electronic technology trade show, which recently took place in Las Vegas, January 2014. Uh, the hashtags used for uh, capturing the conversations um, from social media sites for this uh, trade show are uh, CES 2014 and Tech. Uh, these two hashtags were used to extract relevant information from Twitter as well as from Facebook. And uh, a utility was run to extract the data using the hashtags and imported into the SQL Server and later on into the PowerPoint, Power Pivot. Uh, then further on, the data was cleansed and relevant relationships were developed using existing tables uh, just through very, very easy to handle drag and drop options. And uh, then on, using Power View, uh, the relevant information will be represented in a graphical manner. The whole objective today will be to uh, analyze some tweets by location, uh, some top mentions of the hashtags on the social media sites. Then we'll be looking at some tweets over time, the bubble charts, which will, which will enable us to uh, see the relevant information displayed in a very, very convenient uh, and user-friendly manner. Uh, so this uh, user, user location uh, versus total tweets. Let's say this is the information we'll be mapping into our dashboard. And here it is, well, in a very graphical manner, it's here in front of us, and it marks the uh, user location versus total tweets. And uh, this brings us pretty much to the general report that we'll be generating on our dashboard. Uh, so if we want to analyze where, uh, for these two hashtags, this is the geographical location versus the total tweets that were that took place. Uh, tweets by location is the dashboard that we wanted to create, and here it is. So, uh, for any, if you want to analyze for any one hashtag, you can just simply click on it, and here it is. Uh, if you want to uh, look at the tweets for the hashtag tech, then we can click here. Or if you want to analyze both of those, these simultaneously, we can just click somewhere around. So this can give us the information here. The color scheme here shows us the, uh, that the deck is marked by yellow and uh, orange by uh, CES 2014. So even by looking at the same uh, graph, we can just, or by the looks of it, we can see, we can feel that the most uh, common areas for this conversation, for this hashtag, that we, the most conversation is taking place in the US market, as well as in the European sector. So we can uh, analyze the, these two very easily, rather than having to look at those uh, uh, Excel sheets or some other forms of reporting where we would not be able to look at this in a graphical manner. So let's have a look at more insightful information for these two hashtags. Uh, this uh, slide will show us the top mention. This slide is for the top mentions for these two hashtags, and we'll be looking at the uh, information for these two hashtags according to the users who are uh, talking about these hash uh, hashtags. So here it is. The uh, this person A Fulton two zero one zero is the person who is talking the most about it, and it shows that uh, uh, total mentions of it. The number is 328, the frequency of it, uh, versus the total tweets is 307. So uh, if I want to look at the information for a particular user, for, for a particular uh, hashtag, I can click on here, and the whole information is uh, fetched accordingly. Uh, this shows here that the person I love my watch is the person who is talking the most uh, for this hashtag, uh, versus if I want to filter on the other hashtag, I can do that too. Or if I want to clear filters, I simply click here. Uh, the, so this this column shows us the top mentions for each uh, against each user. Uh, versus these bars will allow us to just analyze the trends and uh, and the frequency and the comparison of the topmost mentions. Uh, and uh, this 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 area will show us the top mentions uh, according to the dates. So the thousands of tweets that took place on January 9th and according to, to the other dates. Uh, 
So I have incorporated this slide to uh, uh, show the tweets over time through a very, very uh, friendly uh, feature of uh, Power BI using the play access, which allows us to uh, fetch and display information um, in the real time by playing it on, in a bubble chart. So here it is, uh, we can see that this information about the total retweets and total tweets as also against another uh, dimension of uh, the uh, dates on which the conversations took place is displayed. So this slide will show us Twitter details and we can see just by the looks of it that the CES 2014 is performing better in the current dates versus with this one which is mostly consistent. So this is the feature, uh, let's talk about this feature of Power BI GeoMap. Uh, this will allow us to uh, display the same information about tweets and retweets through GeoMap. So we'll use Power Query, which will allow us to directly connect to Facebook and uh, uh, look look what it allows us to do. Uh, fetch all the relevant information uh, into tables and then generate reports and dashboards from there. So let's uh, look at this slide, to, uh, which we've generated some very colorful graphs from the information extracted from Facebook through uh, Power Query. Uh, this uh, this will allow us to uh, this is allowing us to view the information engagement by feed type. For so let's say we, we would be able to analyze the total share of links, uh, the total engagement for the links, and how many people clicked on photos and statuses and videos. And uh, the pie chart is showing us the proportion of uh, against each other. Uh, we can also filter information according to the gender as is displayed here, or we can uh, filter according to one gender by clicking on one, this and see the information filtered. So, here is uh, some of more insightful information unlocked here in a graphical manner. We can see uh, that for the year 2014, in the month of January, the uh, most popular feeds uh, according to the links and uh, how many people clicked on those. Uh, so we can see this information here or we can uh, view the other information such as daily posts or daily uh, daily feed analysis here uh, from which we can see count of likes and ratings etc. So such information is also visible here. Well, so this is it from our side. Thank you for joining us and staying with us. Uh, and have a nice day.